Hey guys, we're going to do a little bit of a remote video this time. It's down in uh, my little computer area here. So we got this machine that needs its hard drive. It's, the hard drive is failing. It hasn't failed yet, but it is failing. So we got the Samsung kit with the plate, all the cables, but most importantly, the software which is right here, and this, which is the little USB to SATA cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the cable into the uh, drive and then just plug it into the front here. And I'll be back and I'll show you guys what the current hard drive and boot up times look like and uh, what it looks like after I get the transfer done. And there we go. And there's my kids, because this is the grandparents' computer. And that's all the way up to the start screen. There's going to be a, we're not quite there yet, but it's installing some drivers for uh, the Samsung USB drive adapter that we just plugged in. So let me go ahead and see if I can do this without too much camera jitter and actually staying focused on things and see if I can get the properties the Windows experience is 5.9 but let's take a look and see how much of that is the hard drives so as you can see 7474787859 and boom the primary hard drive I'm going to go ahead and step through here so one important thing to always check before you buy your SSD is to see how much space you're using and how much space you think you're going to be using. So in this case, there's actually over 60 gigs used, even though it only says 57 point something there. And I would like to have more than 50% extra space because, you know, it doesn't take very many, you know, 10 megapixel photos anymore to fill up hard drive space. So basically, we're going to say the C drive there, and then it says... Please connect any Samsung drive. So I'm going to try to do this like 12 handed here. We're going to pl plug in the USB Samsung drive. Sorry about that. And there it is. So basically you're setting the source disk and the target disk. And say so start. All data will be deleted from the target disk. That's fine because we verified that it's the Samsung. And there we go. So at this point you just gotta let it run. When it's done we'll be back and I'll show you what it says. Okay hey guys we're back and we're gonna We've put in the SSD and I've just left in the old hard drive. Now this isn't quite as fast as it could be. This is a SATA 2 um, system because it's an original uh, Core i7 chip and the original uh, Z67 chipset. So we're going to come right on over here. We'll see if we can get some... This machine doesn't post for some reason to the screen, but you'll notice a, a noticeable difference when it goes so there we're at the welcome already and boom it's to the desktop so I'll run a comparison side by side of what that's like versus the uh, the original boot up and it's pretty amazing so if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave comments down below oh and I know what I was going to show you guys let's go do a Windows refresh So it was 5.9 before. Let's go ahead and rerun the assessment. And there we go. 
Uh, if my camera auto focuses, 7.7. .7. So now the lowest score is actually the CPU and the RAM. So that's upgraded this by 1.5 base score points, which granted doesn't mean a whole lot since it's Windows generic, but a hell of a lot faster than it was. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. We'll see you guys next time.